Good morning and welcome to Fir Park Secondary's Good morning and welcome to Fir Park Secondary's Easter service. I'd like to thank Reverend Gibson, Mrs Clarkson, Mrs Lennox and all the boys and girls for putting this service together. I'm sure it's going to be great. Fir Park Secondary School has been a very different and difficult experience this year. I would personally like to thank all the pupils, parents and staff for their hard work and support. So, sit back and I hope you enjoy Fir Park's Easter service. Thank you. Hello? Hello, who's there? Oh, I don't recognize you. Are you from Jerusalem? Well, you better keep your head down, because this isn't such a safe place these days. Oh, but maybe you don't know if you're not from around here. Let me tell you, this has been a very unusual week. You know, you may not believe this here in this dinky little stable and everything, but just a little while ago, I was a star. Yeah, I was born just a small town donkey in a little home, but I always knew that I had talent. My family, however, was not so supportive. Look here. You're such a dreamer. Why don't you be a working donkey like your father? And even though no one recognized my obvious gifts, I knew that I was meant for something big. And then one day, it happened. Everyone had heard about Jesus of Nazareth and the miracles that he'd done. They said that he'd healed blind people, deaf people, even people that couldn't walk or talk. 2020 vision? Are you kidding me? No need to shout. I can hear you now. I've got so much to say, I think I'll start my own talk show. Forget walking, I'm dancing. He even claimed to be the Son of God. So when we heard that he was coming to town for Passover, the whole town was buzzing. And guess who he picked to be his donkey that he wanted to ride in on? There it is. That's the one Jesus said to bring. Before I knew it, I was whisked away with Jesus riding on my back. And as we walked into town, everyone cheered. And I knew that this was my big break. Thank you. Thank you very much. An autograph? Oh, no problem. Oh, yeah, the king is in the house. They say he's the son of God. Do you think it's true? Hmm. And that's when it hit me. They weren't cheering for me. They were cheering for Jesus. I realized that it was really all about Jesus. So much has happened since that day. Some people got mad at Jesus and lied about him. They took him away to be crucified and they killed him. But three days later, the most wonderful miracle that has ever happened took place. They say that Jesus came back to life. Yeah, so I'm not the star of the show anymore. And that's okay. Because the one who made the stars is the real king. Welcome, everybody to our Easter assembly in Fir Park Secondary School. We're going to begin the assembly by listening to the story of Easter and Lewis is going to read that for us. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake. For an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he, just as he said. Come see the place where he lay. And then go quickly tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead, and, he, 
and it's going ahead with you into Gully. There you'll see him, now I've told you. So the, wo the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them, greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid, go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, there they will see me. Thank you very much, Lewis. Let's turn to some music now, and James is going to play a lovely piece of music for us, and then we're going to hear the sweet truth of Easter. James. The sweet truth of Easter, me sweet little story, the best news you'll ever hear is about Jesus dying on the cross so that we could be brought near. So hold them and turn them and you will see that M becomes a W, an E and then a 3. The M reminds us of the mercy of the Messiah, showed us as he died in our place and the miracle of the resurrection so we can see him face to face. The E stands for Easter, God's everlasting love and his eternal plan. It reminds us of the cross and the way God restored sinful man. The B means the day the cheater was in the grave, by his death all he took in his eyes, he saved. The W reminds us that he alone is worthy of our worship and praise and calls us to be his witnesses around the world for all of our days. Happy Easter! I wonder what your reaction would have been if you had seen Jesus nailed to the cross and I wonder what your reaction would have been if you had met with him when he had risen from the grave. I bet we've all seen flash mobs before. Flash mobs happen all the time now. They're on the internet a lot. One of the best ones is this one I'm going to show you. It was filmed at Heathrow Airport a few years ago and I want you to watch the reaction of people. So as people are arriving into, in, into international arrivals, they're suddenly aware of music, of, of beatboxing, um, of people singing and their faces just light up. Watch out for the BAA security guard at the end. He just cannot believe what is going on round about him. But watch the reactions very carefully. Coming home, baby, now. You don't know what I'm doing now. 
I'm coming home, I know I'm all the dude Since you went away, away now, now real soon What I do, what I do, do, do Let's turn off the mic Let's turn off the mic Come on, let's turn off the mic Oh my God, you know that I'll be back your reaction have been? Had you been there walking into the airport that day? Here are some of the, the people who were interviewed afterwards describing how they felt. You see lots of amazing things and you know unusual things sometimes in an airport but never never, never anything like this before. It was amazing it was totally un unexpected and bizarre and fabulous. My whole body just kind of shivered it was like surreal. We didn't know quite what was happening to be walking into the center of uh, such an occasion. Some man grabbed me and I joined in and then a girl grabbed me and I joined in again and I just didn't want it to end. Now what would your reaction have been at Easter time on the very first Easter if you had met with Jesus once he'd risen from the grave? Well for many people today their reaction is to celebrate and to give thanks because Christians believe that Jesus went to the cross on what we call Good Friday and that he rose again on Easter Sunday and the Bible tells us that he met with different people when he'd risen from the grave. He met with Mary Magdalene, he met with Peter, his disciple, he met with all his disciples, in fact, on another occasion. On another occasion, he had breakfast with his followers. On another occasion, he meets with a group of 500 people, and their reaction was to go and tell others and to say, Jesus is alive, he's risen from the grave. And today, Christians celebrate that Jesus is alive. It means a lot to Christians that Jesus is alive. And so on Easter Sunday, we roll our eggs and we remember that the stone rolled away from the tomb and it revealed an empty tomb. And we celebrate that Jesus is alive. And we are going to celebrate now because we're going to hear a lovely song and it's sung by Jess. And it reminds us of the most important message of Easter. I'm special.
Let's pray. Let's bow our heads and pray. Lord God, we thank you for this time of the year when we see the signs of life around us, like daffodils turning their faces to the sunshine, like baby lambs in the fields. But the most special sign of life is the message of Easter, that Jesus is alive. And so we thank you that we have been able to share that message today in our assembly. We've been able to sing about it, we've been able to listen to poetry about it, and we've heard readings about it too. And we pray that you would be with us over the spring break. We ask that you would watch over us, and that you would bring us back to school safely next term. Lord, we thank you for our teachers, for all the staff in our school who look after us. And we pray that you would be with all the boys and girls of Fir Park Secondary over these next few weeks. We ask this in your name. Amen. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the Easter service as much as I did. It was truly wonderful. Well done to everybody involved. Boys and girls, I look forward to you all attending Fir Park after the holidays. And for now, I hope you can relax and enjoy your Easter break. Keep safe and have a lovely holiday. Thank you.